Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. So we got some more questions from the internet, so we're just gonna dive right in here. Okie dokie. What is your weirdest dating experience? So I think I have to say that I seem to be people's weirdest dating experience. Like this one time, I invited somebody that I met on Tinder to an 11-day lesbian cruise ship across the Caribbean islands after only meeting her once beforehand. I was on the cruise to film a documentary about the rock star Sarah Smith, and I could bring a plus one. It was a really fun second date, and on more than one occasion, the third date ended up being just a, just a good old U-Haul. These are just a few of my red flags. What is your favorite kind of tree? That's such a wholesome question. Since I've been spending a lot of time around the West Coast, I've been falling in love with the Arbutus tree. It's one of the only broadleaf evergreens that's native to this region. It usually stands out because of its shapes and its colors. It's also really interesting because it doesn't seasonally shed its leaves, but it does shed its bark. And it's just really fun to chop. <laughs> They're super colorful and almost never straight. It's a pretty queer tree. Who is the sponsor of this video? What a great question. I want to thank Surfshark for sponsoring this video. Did you know that Surfshark lets your internet accessing device connect anywhere in the world? When your device has the freedom to travel anywhere, the virtual world really opens up. And with Surfshark, you can get past geoblockers and government restrictions. So you get to explore streaming selections around the world. There are over 3,200 servers in over 100 different countries. So no matter where you go, you're gonna find a server that fits your needs. The power is in your hands. There's also a feature that removes those annoying cookie pop-ups from websites. Because cookies should never be annoying. And if you're looking to try this out, the 24-month plan is a really good option. You get three extra months for free, and if you don't like it after 30 days, you can get your money back. You can scan the QR code on the screen or use the link in the description. And remember to use that promo code. What other jobs do you have? So I've mentioned this before, I don't make money from wood chopping. I chop with a little group in my community and we kind of distribute the wood back to the community because that's what you do in a small town. But for other work stuff, over the past four years, I've, I've worked as a farmhand, a filmmaker, a landscaper, a personal trainer, a communication specialist for nonprofits, and a personal support worker. And now I'm just trying to figure this all out. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. Not that I ever really have, just, just rolling with it. Can you show us your DMs? It's, it's a place that I don't, I don't venture into. What's that scene from The Lion King? What about that shadowy place? That's beyond our borders. You must never go there, Simba. Do you ever get splinters? My hands get more sappy than splintery. After a couple rounds of splitting, my fingers usually are pretty sticky. What is your favorite color? the deep blood red of my enemies, but also baby blue. What's with the beaver puppet? <laughs> this is what happens when you have weird talented friends with ADHD. So years back when I was in filmmaking, I somehow stumbled upon the niche of directing puppets or like puppeteers. My friend Allie is an incredible puppeteer and came out to visit me and just happened to have a beaver puppet with them. And so we just... <laughs> sir. Thank you, sir. Poor swig. Sure. <laughs> sure. Done! Well, there's one more thing. Huh? Cool. <laughs> yeah. Okay, hold on. Okay. Action. And now you're lumberjack. Oh, thank you, sir. More time. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. It's gonna be good. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Good guy. <laughs> it's great. Great. We just basically improved some really random content. What is your favorite axe? This is my favorite axe. It's called The Maple, and it was a collaboration between myself and my really good friend Jerry from Thistle Rock Forge. I just really appreciate anything that's hand forged and the craftsmanship that went into making this. It was also just so much fun to make and it's really fun to use. Jerry is also selling these on his website, so I will link that in the description. Can you give us relationship advice? 
that is something I am not qualified in. But I will say that a lot of the lessons that I've been learning around just relationships with people is the importance of communication and also consistency. And it really is the little things that matter. I also really like the philosophy on love from Eric Frum. From Frum? Love isn't just this passive thing that just kind of happens to you, like we see in a lot of romantic fairy tales. It's something you have to be active in and consistently practicing. Just like an artist with their art, love is a practice and it takes dedication, determination, and constant learning. So for me, that philosophy has helped me think about love in a more engaging way. Like how do I constantly learn and grow and become a better partner and be a little bit more active in the practice of love? Well, I think that's enough A-ing your cues. A? And once again, thank you to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. Thank you so much for watching and just being a part of this. <laughs>